Hey there, climber. Welcome to our touch controller tutorial. This one's for learning the basics. First, try looking around. Notice how your hands move with the position of your touch controllers. As you climb, you need to be aware of your stamina. The amount of stamina for each hand is displayed on the hand itself. Okay, to take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip control. Each control maps directly to the hands you see. The distance you are from the wall depends on how far your touch controllers are from your body. Try this out by moving your touch controllers backwards and forwards. The hand that holds onto a grip loses stamina, while the one that is not holding gains stamina. While you lose stamina, you start to sweat. Your heartbeat increases and your hands start to tremble. When your stamina is depleted, you will fall. You can improve stamina by chalking your hands. If your hands are chalked, your stamina drains slower and regains faster. Chalk your right hand by holding the chalk button and shaking the controller. A sound will inform you once chalking is complete. Chalk your left hand with the left chalk button. The status of your chalk is displayed on each hand. Hold on to the grip again and see how stamina drains more slowly now. Grip with both hands to regain stamina. You must rest occasionally to regain stamina. Chalk depletes as you climb with every grip you touch. Less chalk means you lose stamina faster and regain it more slowly. Now look up and find the checkpoint flag. This shows you where the section ends. Now look up and find the checkpoint flag. Great, now try climbing higher. First, let's get to the save point. Hold on to a grip and push or pull yourself in the direction you want to move. You're doing really well. You've reached a save point. If you fall after this, we'll restart back here. Some grips are just out of reach. Try stretching your arms to get to this one. Holding a grip that's too far from your body can decrease stamina. <laughs> you can also lean your body to get those really difficult grips. Some climbs are quite complex. If you get lost, Press the hint button to see your route. Huh. Looks like you need to get around this corner. Try leaning your body around it. Again, lean your body to look around the corner. Some grips can only be reached by jumping. Press the jump button to leap in the direction you are looking. Remember, you need to release the grip button to grab the new grip. You also lose stamina by jumping or falling. jump by looking into the direction you want to go and pushing yourself off from the wall. Release the hand you've pushed with and reach out to take another grip. Before jumping, make sure your body is not too close to the wall. You've reached the top. Now place both hands on the ledge and pull yourself up by pushing down both controllers. Congratulations! Remember, here at the checkpoint, we pause time until you are ready to move on. This tutorial is now complete.
Welcome to our advanced tutorial for touch controls. Here you'll learn about some of the more challenging skills you need to master. First, let's get to the save point. Stamina drains more quickly on technical grips than on normal grips. You can maintain stamina by holding the trigger about halfway to max. Try it until you find the correct range. Crumbling grips won't hold for long, so make sure you know your path before starting. Clean these ledges to get a secure grip. Hold down the grab button and wipe off the dirt until the grip has been cleaned completely. Afterwards, you need to grab it again to get a grip. Toxic grips affect your stamina in a negative way. Oh. 
You can use the rewind button once per climb to move yourself back to the last checkpoint. Let's do that now. That's it. Well done. You've completed our advanced tutorial.
Oh, oh! 